This is Fox 5 News Morning. Today is International Women's Day, and we're talking to author Ann Atkins, who is celebrating International Women's Day by honoring Eleanor Roosevelt and Golda Meir, two women that she has written books about. These powerhouse women will also be honored today at a luncheon. And welcome you, Anna, to our show. Okay, let's talk about it. How, how did you start writing biographies? Oh, thanks, Maureen. Mm -hmm. um, my background is I worked as a counselor for mm -hmm. years, and... I would uh, give examples to my clients of these historical people mm -hmm. as encouragement then for them of how they too could overcome their adversity and whatever trials they were struggling with. It was kind of like taking history to the streets. Yeah. And, and so then I started writing these biographies for more people to mm -hmm. be able to enjoy these stories. Why these two women in particular, Eleanor Roosevelt, Golda Meir, I mean, I, I know them as powerhouse women, I'm familiar with what they did, but why did you choose to write about them in particular? Because they would choose to be more than uh, what were the constraints of the day. Okay. For Eleanor Roosevelt, she was much more than a first lady mm -hmm. for 13 years. Eleanor, she changed lives. She championed for causes. Uh, she changed lives for women. She changed lives for African Americans. Um, she challenged our status quo. Yeah. And, and then she would also even just, uh, on a very personal level, she would go and visit troops in the Pacific and write letters to home for them. And for Golda Meir, the same thing. Mm -hmm. She... Um, you call the book True Grit. True Grit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Golda Meir. Golda is, I mean, the, the is a high school... prime minister of Israel. I mean, this yes. is, that's, that's not an easy feat. I mean, this is a, it's a man's world really back then, and here she exactly. is accomplishing this. Exactly. And, and she was just a schoolgirl from Milwaukee. Wow. And, and, and she goes on to be a prime minister mm -hmm. of Israel. And, and even in that, then, it's this make it happen, yeah. is she... They have thousands every day. They have thousands of immigrants showing up. And Golda's in charge of uh, making sure these kids have schooling, yeah. medical facilities, training for jobs, jobs. Uh, it's just huge what she does. And again, it's just such a great example of making it happen. And of course, we're celebrating a, a Women's Month this month. And we're talking about these two, again, powerhouse women. What lessons can we learn from them today? I know you've already talked about that. But I think so many, especially young women today, are sometimes fed. Uh, you know, messages of being materialistic or something that really doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. They're not really owning, their, they're knowing their worth and owning it. What lessons do you think people can derive from these two women you've profiled in these wonderful books that you've written? Thanks. Mm -hmm. that, that their lives can make a difference. Yeah. Eleanor and Golda were both once young girls. Mm -hmm. Golda just comes from really a very nobody family. There was nothing particularly uh, fascinating about her, or mar remarkable about her background. Yeah. But they just keep making decisions and they develop their destiny and that what they did makes a difference and uh, anybody can. Anybody can, and these two women exemplify that. There's a luncheon today. Tell me about that, and uh, is it tied to a cause? Yes. It's a local Washington charity called We Will Survive Cancer. I love it. Okay. I know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they do things, and what they do is they raise money mm -hmm. to then give support to families yeah. who have been affected by cancer because it devastates your finances. Absolutely. And so this money can be used for child care, transportation, counseling. Uh, every year they provide Christmas for 20-some families. So it's a very worthy cause, and it's, I'm proud of them, yeah. And it's from 1130 to 230 at the Willard uh, Hotel. We've got the information there on your screen. And if people want to purchase the book, where can they get it? Uh, the, the books, I should say. Yes. yes. On Amazon is uh -huh. the easiest thing, and it comes as an e-book mm -hmm. or paperback. Um, and so they can order it there or if they want to have me come and speak I do a lot of speaking Good. engagements and that would probably be just to contact me through my website on flashhistory.com all right in our last uh, just couple of minutes or seconds here I should say reaction so far what are people saying about the books they they love it because it relates to them it's authentic stories and people are hungry for that for examples that can they can use in their own life things that resonate in their lives mm, it resonates is right and yep. atkins wow thank you so much for writing the books and bringing you know history oh. to life through through these uh biographies you've written wonderful wonderful i'm glad for the cause this afternoon hope people check it out thanks for coming in thank you thank oh, you so much my pleasure Bye.